October is LGBTQ plus history month and our ABC stations embarked on an extraordinary project from coast to coast to find the people and organizations who made LGBTQ plus history. Take a look. They are the pivotal figures whose stories are largely untold until now. In New York, WABC finding Randy Wicker, who was part of the nation's first gay rights protest in front of the U.S. Army building in 1964. They were destroying people's lives by giving them dishonorable discharges. It's like having a criminal conviction on your record. In San Francisco, KGO profiling Phyllis Lyon and Del Martin, who founded the first organization for lesbians in America in 1955. In Fresno, California, KFSN meeting El Dania, one of Central California's first drag kings. And being raised, you know, out in the farm, well, you know, uh, I thought I was the only one that was gay. In Chicago, WLS speaking with Tracy Bame, co-founder of the Windy City Times, and at the time, an underground newsletter sending out urgent warnings about potential raids at gay bars. A lot of it was tips and how to get legal protection, what your rights were if you were arrested, but in one incident, they actually went all in and named the police officer who was doing the entrapment of gay men. In Philadelphia, WPVI highlighting those who staged a sit-in at one of Philadelphia's most popular coffee shops. And they had a sit-in over the course of a couple of days into the next weekend. It was the first LGBT sit-in of its type in the country. In Raleigh, North Carolina, WTVD speaking with Nancy Petty, the first woman and lesbian pastor at the historic Pullen Memorial Baptist Church. It was a real moment of blessing and affirmation. In Houston, KTRK speaking with Phyllis Fry, who remembers the 50s and 60s in Texas. Because I'm trans, back then I could not get work. Um, I'd lost my military career. I'd lost my first marriage. I'd lost my son. And in Los Angeles, KABC visiting the world's largest LGBTQ archive at USC, learning about Edith Ede, who in the 1940s created the first known lesbian publication in North America, vice versa. Just some of the many Americans who helped pave the way for today's LGBTQ plus community. And this week, another American making history. Take a look at this passport image right now. Dana Zim becoming the first person to get a gender neutral X on their passport. The State Department says that the forms will be updated for all routine applications by early next year. Incredible stories that all the ABC stations are, are taking part in. It was just incredible reporting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great job by them. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.